Hello everyone and welcome to Mastery channel. We're excited to share our guide on how to solve 10 IQ tests with you today. We recommend taking some time to think about each question and jotting down your answers before we begin. In the next sections, we'll go over explanations to help you understand each question better. Good luck and feel free to pause the video and work at your own pace. Let's get started. Hi there, I hope everything went well with the questions. Now let's dive into the explanations for each test. Look at the rows and columns of figures. You can see that they have different numbers of bases, 2, 3 or 4. You can also see that the tops of the bases are different shapes, semicircles, rectangles or triangles. That's why option D is the right answer. Let's count the points in each row. They all add up to 14, right? So what should we put in the empty spot to make the last row also 14? That's right, it's option B, good job! Look at the arrows in each row. They always point in the same direction, right? But the shape below the arrows rotate 45 degrees clockwise in each column. Let's look at each row. See the first and second shapes? They have two parts inside them. Now look at the third shape. It's made of those two parts put together. Can you find them in the first and second shapes? Let's look at each row. See the houses with black and white dots? The black dots of a house move clockwise, but the white dot of a house moves counterclockwise. So what should we put in the empty spot to follow the pattern? That's right, it's option A. Well done.
Let's look at the middle column. See how it's made of the left and right columns? They join together and keep the sides that are different. But they get rid of the sides that are the same. Can you see how that works? Look at each column. They have four shapes with different parts. They have four boxes, four lines, and four curves. So what should we put in the empty spot to match the column? We need a shape that has three boxes and two lines. These pictures show three different ways of coloring triangles and three unique places for circles. Each row has only one of each shape, and the colors of the circles change as you move down the rows. In each row, the second picture is made by adding a little shape to the first picture. And the third picture is created by incorporating a small shape into the second picture. The third figure in each row displays the difference between the vertical lines of the first two figures from left to right. It's great to know that the video was useful for you. We would be very grateful if you could show your support by liking the video and subscribing to our channel. May you have a blessed day until we post our next video.